Lions at Vikings. Oh, well, yeah, what a game. Jesus what Christ. a game. Uh, Vikings. Just start, there. Can I start can I start this one? Yeah. I'm going big. Go yeah, go on. You back the lot you back the Lions in your did. Go on. Just just just, just, just say it. Uh, say it. Pay me anymore. No, the uh, the Detroit Lambs won't be winning this week. Oh, uh, it, will be, <laughs> it will be the Vikings, and uh, I really hope I don't get this game, but I do want it kind of. It'd be 21 3. What? 21 3. 21 3. Wow. That's a violation right there. It's... The Viking violation. No, nah, the Vikings are still decent. They can still run the ball. They can still throw it. Kirk Cousins, he's been unreal for years. So it's just he had one game off last week. Um, the Vikings going to win this 27-17. So, quite comfortable. Oh, I've also backed the Vikings. I've also backed the Vikings to get 27. Um, I've not been so generous to the Lions. I've given them 13 instead. Um, but, yeah, 27-13. Um, it's just, it's just, I, I, there's honestly nothing else that I can say um, apart from apart from the Lions are just pathetic again, isn't they? It's another one of them pathetic teams that are that are, that are playing. And this game, this game will probably get about five minutes on red zone just for the Vikings. Five minutes. Minutes. Yeah, it'll get about five minutes. I, I, I just can't, I just can't see this game being on red zone much at all. Apart from when the Vi- apart from when the Vikings are on offense. Because every because everyone in their fantasy team has either Jefferson or Thielen, so yeah, I agree. I think it could be a big week for the fantasy of either Dalton Cook, Thielen, or Justin Jefferson. Kirk Cousins will be another average week because he loves the throwing it in the section as well. He's aspiring to be a loser like Big Ben, uh, but it doesn't matter because the opposition facing is so bad. It'll be thirty-five twenty-one to Minnesota. Yeah, 